Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. Here's the article I wrote for Redeemer's monthly newsletter in April of 2005. Dave said, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I smiled. I was glad to hear from Dave, a man who had associated himself with our church while he was stationed at Fort Jackson, but who had returned to his home and family in Kansas. Oh, Dave, I answered with a smile. I was engaged in some very important pastoral ministry. I was dealing with a dead cat out behind a bush. Well, that's actually the truth. Not that that's important pastoral ministry, but I was dealing with a dead cat on Tuesday morning. My son Jeremy had told me it was there, but I had misunderstood where to look, and so I ignored it. On Tuesday early, I was outside with a member of the property committee looking at the concrete when I realized that that dead cat could be ignored no longer, and it wouldn't be hard to find now. The rest of my day was just as busy. I was thinking that I really needed to put some thought into what I wanted to write for this newsletter, but the phone rang again, and again, and again. Someone came by. So somehow we had recorded only one worship service last weekend, and a shut-in needed the tape, and I had to go get it. Someone else went into the hospital unexpectedly, and I went to visit. When my day ended that night, I hadn't given this article any thought, and I knew I still needed to pull things together for the Lenten service on Wednesday. I knew also that I had been busy all day, but I wasn't sure of what I had gotten done. On Wednesday, it was the same. My plans for what I wanted to do were quickly waylaid. Hardly had I arrived in the building when I learned that rain was pouring into the building back where the construction was happening. Suddenly, life was a bucket brigade. Then there were more phone calls, people coming by, and errands. I knew I needed to prepare for the service that night, but there just wasn't any time. I picked up the boys from school and raced back to dump water buckets. As I headed to my car for yet another task, I was stopped by a family in need of help and food, and I still never took the time to think about this article. At seminary, they taught us, ministry happens in the interruptions. Well, indeed. When I think about those two days, there wasn't much of what I had planned to do in them. My plans had been interrupted. My plans. You see, somehow in the midst of all this, a family in need got some help. Hopefully a hospitalized person felt God's comfort a little stronger, along with the love and support of our church family. A lot of work facilitating the programs and ministries we share was done. People who called or showed up with heartfelt needs were heard and strengthened. And even a dead cat got buried by a pastor. What had happened in all the interruptions was God's plan. What had happened in all the interruptions was God's work. And that's where Easter comes in. You see, Easter is the biggest interruption of all. We know the pattern of life, birth to death. That's the plan. That's the way it always goes, every time, except that time. That time with Jesus, God interrupted things. Jesus lives. It was God's plan. It was God's work. That Wednesday night, with the beautiful music of evening prayer, I felt the pressures of life and responsibilities fade away. Being with God brought peace and comfort to me. Life is full of many things I knew, but mostly it's full of God. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.